I'm in the same outfit as another video. Real quick, um, I did my Beauty Blender Smackdown kind of video um, of the uh, Beauty Blenders I had collected um, besides the name brand Beauty Blender, the, uh, you know, the one from Real Techniques, the Beauty Perfection Sponge, and the Lo London Soho, the four sponges of those. Um, and then after that I realized I hadn't tried the one from Ulta that I had originally bought for my sister um, when she was looking to start doing makeup and stuff. Um, and she didn't want me to spend the money on an, a real beauty blender. She did this year, though. <laughs> hey, you like my makeup? <laughs> Olivia keeps telling me that, um, Makeup Fun with Olivia, she has a channel, I love her, uh, keeps asking me to just keep doing tutorials and all my looks, and I don't do a lot of tutorials. If I got enough requests, I probably would do more re tutorials. I figure that the artist community, if they want to know something, will let me know. So, um, anywho, I used all kinds of weird brands today. I used Kate Rimmel uh, Chubby Stick, I used Be a Bombshell, I used some NYX, I used some MAC, I used some Jane, I used some Kat Von D. <laughs> it's all over the spectrum. Anywho, let's talk about this one I wanted to mention. This sponge, this uh, one that you can find at Ulta and they're like cotton buds and... Um, buff puff section. Um, it doesn't have a title besides being distributed by Swissco. Um, it's latex free, hypoallergenic, and it does grow when you wet it. Um, mine's dirty today because I used it again. Um, I'm going to tell you something right away. It's a good sponge. It really is a good sponge. I kind of compare it to the sponge from London Soho in texture and in um, blendability, um, but I washed it once and when I was washing it and I squeezed it out and it didn't really have a long nail anyhow, my thumbnail went right into it and ripped it up. I just barely squeezed it and my thumbnail went plunk. And I know I'm a strong lady and I've got a great grip, but I wasn't doing anything unusual with this sponge. I clean, cleaned it like I cleaned my Real Techniques complexion sponge and my Beauty Blender sponge with, and I was using actual Beauty Blender soap. Um, because at the time that's what was on the counter and um, yeah it went Whoa. but I've been using it still it hasn't really affected its performance as I, I was hoping it wouldn't um, I do have an issue with the fact that this chubby thing is so chubby I can't get that tip in there like you can get the beauty blender and the real technique sponge in there so this I think this would be better if you're like barely touching a, uh, a acne blemish or something with some concealer this point just um I don't know it is comfortable to hold it does go punk 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 and it's not hard it does do a nice job at blending out makeup but I ever since I got a beauty blender my world changed like a soap opera as the world turns or something like that I actually never watched that one I watched days with our days of our lives and bold and the beautiful do you guys watch soap operas too you know they use sponges on those channels as well I like to watch because those people are so beautiful. Anywho, um, and the stories are so weird. <laughs> Gotta watch my stories. So this one costs six dollars, kind of like in comparison to the uh, Real Techniques complexion sponge. The London Soho one is ten dollars. The Trio kit was fifteen of those sponges, and I didn't like those at all because they didn't grow, they didn't get, did not get softer. I kept them in my collection for using for special effect makeup that I sometimes do and costume makeups that I sometimes do for others and little sets and such when I get called to called to forces. Um, this one, it's fine and dandy. It does a good job. Um, I, I bet you anything it's comparable to the BH cosmetic sponges that Lynette McGee just talked about, which I think I'm going to have to try, of course, because I must know all the makeup personally. <laughs> um, anywho, I just wanted to give you my quick opinion on that one because that's how I roll. And I will link my original video down below if you just want to, if you feel like you need to watch both. If you haven't uh, watched it in the first place, don't worry about it. If you're watching this now, you're probably like, what is she talking about? About nothing. It's not true. I talk about nothing all the time, but it's not true. <laughs> um, so that was just a real quick jog. Is that a word? Oh, well. And just remember, <laughs> easy being green, but it sure is fun. I'll see you next time.